Right, a countdown in the waiting room. So I guess this is a good sign to make a start. Welcome to day two of the Brain Anatomy Workshop uh, in collaboration with the University of Munich. Um, as you can see on this first slide, if you could please, if you haven't done so yet, if you could please download um, the data, copy it on your desktop and install the software. It's all in the folder. If you, for whatever reason, have trouble with the software in the folder, you can also directly download it from TrackVis, but we will be needing um, the software and the data very shortly because today is going to be very interactive. So yesterday we had a fantastic day um, dedicated to the surface anatomy of the brain, the subcortical nuclei structures, and we touched a lot on pathology. So thank you so much for the team in Munich. They did a wonderful job yesterday. Um, today will be a way smaller group of people uh, doing the teaching. Um, but the reason for that is because part of the team is you. So today we need you to work with us. That's why you need the software and the data because it's gonna be hands-on and interactive. Now, just to give you a bit of background where the idea came from. So as Professor Donig mentioned yesterday, I did my uh, initial anatomy training in Munich during the Munich Brain course, where I learned a lot about the anatomy of the brain. And I got absolutely fascinated by the connections of the brain as well, which you can dissect out with post-mortem Klingler dissections. And I'm gonna give you an introduction to what that is and how it works uh, in my next talk. Around the same time, an absolutely fascinating method came about called uh, diffusion imaging tractography based on MR imaging that allows for the visualization of the white matter in the living human brain. So what you see here is a collection of my papers where we actually combined post-mortem Klingler dissections with um, in vivo tractography measures. So again, by the end of today, you will be probably an expert on both these methods and hopefully can do them yourselves. So don't be shy, be interactive today uh, and work with us on it. Why do we need a workshop? Well, partially because there is what I call the textbook illusion. You learn anatomy from a book most of the time and then you look at the actual brain and you realize that they look very much not alike. So having exposure to various brains and in particular real life brains um, is a very, very needed tool and is great for learning anatomy and to appreciate the variability. To give you an idea about the variability, what you see here on the top row is the left lateral surface of the brain. And I highlighted the Servian fissure and the hotspots for language. So we have Broca's territory in the frontal lobe, Geschwind's territory in the inferior parietal, and Wernicke's territory in the posterior superior temporal gyrus. And what you can appreciate that on the left you have the MNI template, so a brain that we classically use in neuroimaging. Then you have my own brain and you have an example of a textbook brain. And you can appreciate that even though there are similar features, the actual location and association between those regions is very different in every single brain. So this is the gray matter. If we move on to the white matter, it's even worse. So here again, you see the MNI template. You see my own arcuate fasciculus, which looks a little bit pathetic compared to the nice group average. And then you have um, the example of Gray's anatomy, where the tract is far larger and extends a lot further into the frontal and also the occipital lobe in this example. As a matter of fact, in the textbook, the arcuate fasciculus is not even called arcuate fasciculus. It's referred to as the superior longitudinal fasciculus. And you will hear a lot about why that is and isn't okay nowadays. So we have many methods to study the brain. We can look at the surface of the brain, which is what we did yesterday. And today we're gonna to dive deep into the white matter. Now, a shameless plug here, um, we have a YouTube channel called Clinical Neuroanatomy Seminars. 
um, which has developed into the most successful non-professionally run YouTube channel with over 1,000 subscribers. And we run weekly um, journal clubs and special events once a month. Now, why am I telling you this? Not just to brag and show off, but also because we're trying to record today's session and if possible, make them available on the channel in due course. You will also be seeing this logo on some of my slides. That is just a reminder that for that particular slide, there's an entire talk on the channel that you're welcome to um, just watch on your own time and dive deeper into the subject matter. Then also we will try uh, to play some music in the intervals. Um, so you're welcome to listen to that. The music was kindly provided by Martin Panitz from Leipzig. Um, you find his website here, you find him on Spotify and wherever you like to listen to your music. So hopefully that will work today. Um, that's about the grow of uh, what's gonna happen today. As I said, please don't be shy, be interactive. Talk to us either in the chat or just show yourself and unmute and talk to us um, and we will do interactive sessions throughout the day scattered with um, theories, methods and applications of white matter mapping. Now, without further ado, I'm very pleased to hand over to my colleague, Professor Michel Thibault de Schotten. He is the editor in chief of Brain Structure and Function. He's also the chair of the Brain Connectivity and Behavior or BCB Lab here in Bordeaux. And he's the author of the Atlas of Human Brain Connections, which is a fantastic reference book for those of you who want to spend their nights reading books as suggested yesterday. Um, but that's a fantastic book covering the history and the method of tractography. Now with that, I'm more than happy to hand over to Michelle. Mm -hmm. 